Here I'm going to show you how to check a bridge rectifier with just a simple digital voltmeter. Here is an example of one of the most common bridge rectifiers you'll see. Okay, all a bridge rectifier is, is four diodes in a specific configuration, like this. This right here is a bridge rectifier at its simplicity. Alright, so you're looking at four diodes in a certain configuration. If you look on your bridge rectifier, you'll see a positive uh, different bridge, bridges can be different. They could be uh, uh, switched around where you'd have a negative right here. But on this particular one, as you can see, we have positive here, AC here. They're always going to be diagonal from each other. So if this is positive, diagonal this way is negative. If this is AC, diagonal this way is AC. Okay. So first off, We want to check to make sure we get no reading from AC to AC. This can also be checked with a continuity meter as well. So I'm going to stick, it doesn't matter which lead, on one of the ACs. Let me stick the other one on the other AC. As you notice, I'm getting no reading at all. Okay. You can flip them around if you'd like. No reading at all. That's a good. So far, so good. That's a good indication. Now, I'm going to show you a diode array right here that is blown. All four of these are shorted. I'm going to go to AC. To AC and if you'll notice I begin to get a reading that's because this diode is shorted and if I go to my continuity just to show you right off the rip if you are showing continuity from the AC to AC that bridge is shorted and is no good I pulled this out today out of a working unit all four bridges are gone. All four of these are no good. They are blown. Just to make like an example with here, with this. Okay, down in this orientation, this would be positive, this would be negative, and here's your two ACs. So I'm going to go AC to AC. And as you see, no indication on the digital vote meter. And of course, I can flip around. So, so far, so good. So this diode, uh, this bridge rectifier, excuse me, this bridge, and this bridge is good so far. Next, let's check each individual junction. Okay, so we're going to check each junction now. <clears throat> okay. What you're mainly looking for here is you want to make sure that current is passing through each junction only one direction. That is the most important thing here. Only one direction. Okay. If you don't, it doesn't matter which way you start. Just like for example, I will go ahead and put my negative probe on the positive right here. Okay. And my positive probe on the AC. If you notice, I'm getting a reading. Okay. Now I'm going to switch. Put my negative probe here sorry y'all this is a new camera I'm still trying to get used to it my negative probe here my positive probe here and I get no reading that's exactly what you're wanting right here 
if you get a reading both directions you have a shorted diode because these bridge rectifiers they can short in just one junction and not another so you have to do both of these tests pretty much a continuity test first and check both directions okay all right the easy way I always remember this is just to start off on the positive side you want to stick your negative probe on the positive side and then stick your other probe on the AC okay and if you notice if I go around and put my probe on the other AC you're going to show a reading as well that's fine you're mainly just wanting to check to make sure you're getting current passing one direction and not the other alright so now let's go over to the negative side like I said it doesn't matter which probe you want to use to starting off you're just mainly checking to make sure the current's only flowing in one direction so like for example I'll go ahead and put my negative probe here remember this is positive this is positive so diagonal is going to be negative I'll put my negative probe there and check the corresponding AC right here like I said, you can pick whichever AC you want to check here. So we'll do it right here. I get no reading. Okay, so I'm going to flip. Negative right there. And blah. I get a reading. So that's good. Current's flowing only in one direction. That's what you're looking for. And like I said, something to make me, help me remember when I'm checking a diode real quick. So I don't have to figure out which one to p uh, choose from first. But like I said, it's, you need to go ahead and just check both directions regardless. And put my negative on my positive, And your positive on your negative. So negative on positive. You got current flowing that direction. Positive on negative. That current flow in that direction, AC. And you flip them, of course, to make sure you do not have current flowing in two directions. If you get any type of reading, it doesn't matter. Flowing in two directions, and you have a leaky or blown shorted diode. Just like with this right here. Take my positive here, test my AC, I'm sorry if that's not zooming, it kind of looks blurry, anyway I'm going to switch them, and there you go, a reading, and if you get a reading like this, don't be alarmed, but, let me show you an example. If you go from positive to negative, if you look up there, 0.918, the reason why you're getting that is, let me show you. So I'll put my positive here and put my negative here. You'll see I'm reading 1.53 volts. Right, the re only reason that is is you're looking at two diodes at once. The diode meter is checking in this orientation. Flowing from here through that diode, through that diode to that lead. So you're checking in the orientation like that. that's checking two diodes at once so if you ever get a reading like that and it may confuse you that's why you're accidentally looking at you got it on the positive and negative there's no reason to check this if you do the first test with a continuity make sure there's no short from AC to AC and do the two individual junction tests you'll never need to test from positive to negative like that this right here is another example this is a 
a triode style bridge rectifier. Same ordeal, we have positive and negative here. I'll go over to my ACs. You'll notice I have no reading on the meter. No reading on the meter. I'm going to flip it around, make it a little easier for me to hold it. Go to here, to AC, no reading. That's good. Now let's check and make sure current is flowing at least in one direction. There we go. We have current flowing. Now we'll test the next one. No reading. And we'll flip. There you go. That lets you know that the bridge is working and you're ready to go. Thanks. I hope this helps.